so we're back with part two so here I'm just gonna part out this closure as you can see it's all crazy and messy so I'm just gonna part it do part by part and use my um, big curling iron that is extremely hot I'm gonna just use it to flatten out the closure so we can get our nice middle part so as you can see I'm just parting it out piece by piece or section by section I'm using my curling iron just to kind of flatten it out so that we can get our nice middle part um, so yes, so we're going to go on to the next piece now, just doing little by little. It doesn't have to be a super small section, but you just want to make sure it's small enough that you can flatten it out. So as you can see, I'm just rubbing my curling iron across the top of the closure just to get it as flat as I can. I believe my curling iron is on like 450 or like 400. It gets really hot, but it really gets the job done. It slicks everything down, so it's great um and so as you can see we're getting closer to our middle part i'm probably going to not probably i'm going to straighten out that part so that it's very very precise um but we basically you know got it all nice and flat for the most part um so that is how i typically get it flat um that's just the easiest thing for me i'm pretty sure that people use hot combs and whatnot but um this is just the easiest method for me right now I probably will grab a hot comb soon um, and as you can see just now I just pulled back the hair and used the curling iron at the front of the closure because I kind of like to give that effect of the hair pushed back because it looks a little more natural so um, now we have it all nice and parted out um, I'm pushing back the hair in the front to give like a nice pushback um, and just so you can see the um, lace really nicely. Okay, so here guys, I just left this in because this could probably help someone or maybe someone could even help me. <laughs> but here I decided I wanted to do baby hairs. Um, so I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. This is my first time trying the baby hairs. Um, I would say that it didn't come out terrible, but I did not like it that much. So I ended up not doing it. Um, but I didn't want to cut this out because this may help someone or you guys could probably even help me. So I just pulled out a really thin layer of hair out of the closure um, and I'm just using my curling iron still to flatten that out and separate the hair. Um, I moved on to the next clip but I'm basically using a nice little foam and an edge brush to kind of give those little swoopties that people like to do with the edges. I'm really not a fan of the edges which is why I don't typically do them but I was like hey let me try this it's for a client you know they might like it they may want it. So um, as you can see it wasn't really going that great <laughs> like it looked okay at first and it was almost going good but then that side wasn't cooperating that much and then the other side definitely wasn't cooperating. But yeah, I just basically grabbed some scissors and I tried to make the edges a little bit shorter so that I'm able to swoop them and kind of maintain them a little bit better. But like I said before, it just wasn't working out for me or, you know, it didn't look terrible, but I just didn't really like it. So I decided to just kind of not do it anymore. But as you can see, just using the foam and the edge brush, trying to create a little swoop swoop. Um, and yeah, this side was just, I don't know, it was kind of okay. It was the best side. I would definitely say that the other side was hot garbage to be honest but um I tried anyway so like I said this may help you guys or you know you guys can probably help me if you have some tips definitely leave them down in the comments below and I will try them out but as you can see yeah it was kind of almost coming to form but then the hair didn't really want to stick or swoop all the way so I was kind of over it <laughs> I tried multiple times as you can see it just wasn't doing it for me and honestly, it could have been the mousse that I was using too because um, there is a better mousse that I have. I just didn't have it with me, so I didn't use it. So yeah, um, I tried, I tried guys, but it wasn't, it wasn't coming out. It was coming out cute. I'm looking at this video, it's so funny. I'm like, when do I go to the next part? Because I don't want to keep talking about this. <laughs> All right, so yep, using that hot curler again to push back the hair and kind of give that nice blended lifted look so it's not super flat I don't know about you guys but I do like when it has some volume in there which is why I typically do that and you guys see this side was garbage this side was garbage I think it's, I didn't have enough hair or something but it was garbage but you're gonna see in the next clip I was over it and I just got rid of it and I used my curling iron again to just push all of that hair back and funny enough, the mousse and like what they already have in the mousse and everything, it made it look really good when I did it with the curling iron to push it back again. So yeah. See, yeah, I was trying all these different things. Look, trying to swoop up the front. It just wasn't coming out good. Not good enough. So, yeah.
definitely, I'll try this again, but not on this wig. <laughs> mm, yeah, look at that. Not good, guys. Not good. I could do much better, but yeah, this wasn't cutting it for me. All right, so then I just decided that I was going to pop some mousse all over the top just to kind of help with those flyaways. And now we are about to get to the part of curling. Um, I'm using my, this is a, my another curling iron that I have. Um, it's just a really small, I think it's like a one inch or one and a half inch barrel. Um, I use it as a curling wand. That's why you don't see me like um, wrapping it with, that's why you see me wrapping the hair around instead of closing the actual barrel and like spinning it around. So basically I just, when I curl, I do everything away from the face. So like the left side, I'll have them going all in that one direction away from the face. The right side, I'll have them going all in that one direction away from the face. And then I'll have it neat in the middle. Um, so here I decided that I was going to curl it. Um, like I said, I do typically use it as a wand. I know you're probably thinking, why don't I just buy a wand, but I like using this, so, you know, don't judge me. But here I am using them as a curling iron now, so I am just, well, how do I explain this, guys? <laughs> I'm literally just, I, the way that I do the curling iron is different. I know everyone uses their curling iron however they like to use it, but I just basically grab a piece of hair and I start from the middle area and I just swirl it around. I'll hold the hair that's out so that I'm able to just spin it around through the barrel until I get to the very bottom and then I wrap it all the way to the top and let the heat sit on the hair for like a hot second, literally like two seconds. And then I just pull my curling iron down and drop that down so that the curl can fall out. Um, I try to keep my curls like, you know, stayed in place. I don't comb them out until the very end after I spray some product and everything. So yeah, this is just going to be me curling the rest of the wig, so I'll get back to you guys in just a second when I comb it out. So you can see here that we've made it to the back. So you're going to kind of see what I mean when I say I just let the curls meet in their direction in the back. Um, so here I'm just going to keep curling to, well, the right side. Well, how I'm standing or sitting, it's the right side. So I'm just going to 
curl it inward um, on this left side and then I'm gonna go to my right side and curl it to the inward to that side um, and so basically in the middle that the curls going to the left will meet and the curls going to the right will meet together so I don't know if I even explained that <laughs> well but that was you know you know this is basically what I mean and if I'm not explaining it well definitely let me know but you know if you're more of a visual learner you'll definitely see what I mean in the video so these are my last couple of curls so we're just gonna curl that up and now we're done so now we're just gonna get our big wide tooth comb or wide teeth comb um, and we're gonna just comb it out so I like to comb it back so I can kind of give that nice feathered layer look like give us Kim K honey give us the faucet so I just comb the curls going back to kind of really work up that volume um, and then I'll do this thing where I kind of push the curls back to the front so you'll see it soon so I'm just combing everything out using a wide tooth comb the wide tooth comb is better because it's not gonna comb your curls like out to the point where you just basically curled the hair for nothing it's gonna give it a lot of body and volume um, so I'm just combing everything out and like I said I do like to brush the hair or comb the hair towards the back and then pull it back forward with my hand to give a nice layered effect this hair is um, naturally layered because it's in different lengths but it's not layered to where you know there's nice little bangs or anything like that so I just curl it in a certain way and comb it in a certain way to give that look but we are all done guys I thank you guys so much for watching please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Let me know what you guys want to see. Bye-bye. I said bye so early, guys. <laughs> so I just wanted to come back because I'm like, oh, I said bye so early. But, yes, yeah, so I'm just basically showing you guys what the wig looks like. Um, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment and to be interactive. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms. And definitely let me know if you guys like this video, if you like this wig. And um, I definitely want to hear your feedback and let me know what you guys want to see next. And once again, for a second time around, I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, and I will see you in our next video. Thank you guys so much and bye-bye again. <laughs>